Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game, and welcome back for our final go through Psychedelica of the Black Butterfly. All we have left is one short episode, and we are done. We've done everything else. Right? I think everything else has been cleared out. Summer camps, all the boys, all the branches. Look at it all filled out. All the short stories done. Delightful. All right, so here we go. Last short episode. Let's see what we're going to end this on. I think I have enough points. Master, mask, girl. Okay, because this was about Kagihad Monshiro. And this was between the master and Karasaba. Is this gonna be between it can't be between the Master and Usagi, surely, but who knows? Let's find out! Boop! Go to scene! Whoa. Hmm, somebody doesn't have any eyes. Maybe it is between the Master and Usagi. Oh. I realize it's already past midnight. There is something of a dark star floating in the sky. It emits a strange glimmer as it looms ominously overhead. <laughs> as I look up at the darkened sky, my mouth twists into a smile. It's falling. It's falling. I never thought I would get it. The final shard that I have long desired. Oh, this is when the guys fell! Okay! This is right at the beginning of the game. Delightful. Oh, it's falling here! I hold out my arms to catch something that I can't see. It's said that the kaleidoscope can grant any wish. It was damaged long ago, and the shards were scattered throughout the manor. I have no idea how it was damaged, or why I'm so fixated upon it. Yeah, someone's forgotten. My long existence here must mean my memory has faded. But... There remains a wish I want granted. I am so tired of waiting for the shards to be gathered. For so long have I been unable to touch the real world. I pondered how I could bring it here, but it ended up falling here on its own. No, not on their own. It's as though they brought it here. And that... Rabbit Mask Girl Master, I apologize for the late intrusion. You... I lower my hand and turn around. A young girl with a rabbit mask steps into the room. Um, about the people who have recently fallen into this world. <laughs> so you notice as well? I have. Two men and one woman. Takuya Kanda, Akira Himeno, and... I, Minato. Those are the names of those who carry the shards? They've likely forgotten their names now that they've arrived. I will have to give them new names. Then they are to be the new collaborators? Yes. The kaleidoscope will soon be complete. They will bear witness to the completion of this miracle. <laughs> Benny Yuri for the girl. All women want that name. Do they? <laughs> Do they? Man, I like how he's immediately like, ah, for the lady, I got the perfect one. Master, will you be selecting Hakage again? Yeah, why Hakage? It does not matter, but I always have. It seems Natsuki is fond of Kagiha. We can just deal with the rest as they come up. Dang, boy was like, 
I know the girl immediately. I guess I'll go with my Yuge. Natsuki can go with his Yuge. And we'll figure out the other guys are not that important later. <laughs> Damn. I squint my eyes as I look out the window once more. Countless souls have come to this in-between world after losing their lives. And I read the memories of those three. They stood out and were different from the others. Oh, so they were all childhood friends. They had been separated for a while, but they reunited recently. I've learned to read memories like this since coming to the manor. It has proven quite useful at times like this. But then they got into an argument and... Hmm. Is something the matter? No. It seems that Natsuki and the one who fled from my protection are acquainted. Oh? Yes. When those two fell here, they were also carrying shards. Why do they all have shards? I wonder. It does not matter. So they all know one another. In that case... Master, what new purple eyeballs you have? <laughs> this form... is Kazuya? Judging from your reaction, it seems to have gone well. Master, why would you take Kazuya's form? And the grown-up form, too? This is necessary to complete the kaleidoscope. I will pretend to be one of them, and also pretend to be Kazuya to guide them in gathering the shards. We will sometimes clash. We will sometimes encourage and comfort one another. I shall play the role of a close friend. And just as I truly gain their trust, I will destroy it! <laughs> <laughs> Brothers. Childhood friends. Destroying them will give me so much satisfaction. Kazuya seems to be in the hospital in a coma. And the other... You don't need me to say the rest, do you? No. This place exists on the precipice between life and death. They have been locked up in this dark world thanks to a certain someone. Let us see what emotions appear when they find out the truth. Anger, compassion, regret, or... <laughs> yes, I can't wait. Two shards have already fallen into the manor. Only one remains. When I destroy all hope that woman has, the final shard she carries will bring light back to the kaleidoscope. It will be a shard truly befitting for this world. <laughs> the girl had been staring at me, but suddenly looks down. She clasps her hands together tightly. You look like you want to say something. No. You never want to talk. What are you thinking? Why do you follow my orders? <laughs> That's not my only question. You are also the only one whose identity I cannot read. Who are you? You must have an ulterior motive. I... have no particular motive. I'm sorry. She bows and apologizes. She does that when she's going to leave and be evasive. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't answer even if I asked. You don't have to say anything you don't want to. But in exchange, don't tell me what to do. Don't give me disapproving looks. 
If your only reason for serving me is that you don't want to be alone, then be silent and obey. Understand? Yes. I understand. I will now go and welcome them. You pretend to be the Master's messenger, as always, and guide us. Understood. The girl bows deeply as I walk out. Poor Usagi. He asked you so many times. How many times did you just not get the courage up to explain? Oh, finally. This long journey will finally come to an end. The kaleidoscope will be completed with the final shard. My pace quickens as I think about how close I am to my goal. I chide myself for being so giddy. I'm like a child. But I do not stop. The kaleidoscope. A mirror that reflects 10,000 flowers. The butterflies are enthralled by its beauty, drawn to it like moths to flame. There is only one wish in my heart. No, I'm just imagining things. For a moment, something felt wrong, but nothing should have changed. Once this is over, I will destroy everything and wreak havoc and despair upon the world. That is why I have continued to exist. Hurry. Yes, hurry. As I follow this path of destruction, my heart wants to dance with joy. The long and short of it, and never forgotten. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I love that he was just like, I got the perfect name for this girl, because all, all the ladies want to be called that these days. <laughs> that was the best part. Oh, Usagi. You scared little bunny girl, you. If you had just told your brother how many, how much suffering could have been avoided for you and him and everybody. Man alive. Interesting, interesting. I wonder if he told Natsu at all that these were his old friends, if Natsu had forgotten at all and then regained his memories at the same time as everyone else. It's still so hard to know for sure about that. But anyway, guys, that is it. I like that we ended this on something that happened before this all even began. <laughs> That's pretty great. All right, well, with that, guys, we are done, if you can believe it. Thank you very much for joining me for the journey that was Psychedelica of the Black Butterfly. I had a great time with this. I'm going to miss it terribly. Um, but, yeah, I mean, what more can I say? It was just a, it was a fantastic game, and I enjoyed every second of it. I am going to be working on my review, my final thoughts for this game, so stay tuned for that. I'm hoping to get it out for you guys by tomorrow, so wish me luck. I've had most of my thoughts written out for a couple of days. I was just waiting to finish off the last short story here so I could finalize everything, but yeah, I feel pretty confident. Just need to render it all to edit and render it all together. So yeah, wish me luck so it's ready for y'all tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to hearing your final thoughts as well on this game. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you very much for joining me. Until next time, I will see you later.